Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maureen and I make lifestyle related content while living on Sandville Island. And I also make fashion related videos, travel content, and faith related content. Today, as you can see by the title, is another week in my life. I start these on Sundays typically. If you haven't watched my other ones, Sundays I typically study. I study for a course that I am taking to get an accreditation that I'll talk about later on once I get that accreditation. So I study today. The dogs are taken care of this morning. I'm going to make myself some breakfast and then start my readings. And then later on, I'm going to fix my hair, put on some makeup because today is Murphy's gotcha day. So I've got to take pictures for them, specifically Murphy. And so I will be taking that content today. Uh, and if you are also new here, down below, I link their Instagram page. So if you want to see updates on that, make sure to follow them. And they also have an Amazon storefront as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Molly wants to give me a big hug this morning and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hi you guys, it's a little while later. So I've done my hair now, put some makeup on, did my reading for this week for my class, which I'm really happy about. Molly wants to be in the video as well. You know, she's not supposed to counter surf. Hi, pretty girl. So now I'm gonna take some pictures of Murphy, brush these two before that, especially for his gotcha day post today. So we're gonna do that. And then I might film some other sit down videos today. And then of course do the rest of the homework, but the big chunk of the reading is done, which is the majority of my homework. So I'm glad about that. Okay, you guys, I took a few pictures of Murphy and they turned out really good. I'm gonna take a few later this afternoon. I wanted to show you guys what I was having for lunch. So this is from Trader Joe's, their broccoli slaw kale salad with chicken meat. So I really like this. And then I'm thinking about making some cookies. So these are sweet Lauren's, like a break and bake version, but they're allergen friendly. They don't have gluten, dairy, soy, which is what I'm looking for. So this is plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut, and tree nut free as well. And this is the less sugar version. The sugar one is obviously very good, but I find that I don't need that much sugar, so this is good. Although you're not gonna get these, sweetie. Yeah, they have chocolate in it. So I'm gonna make these as well this afternoon, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, those cookies are in the oven. I'm supposed to wait like 15 minutes and I'll see what it looks like. But until then, I'm gonna print out some things for my homework for this week and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Okay, guys, so change of plans. I'm waiting for those cookies to bake. Let's open up some packages. I received a package from Lululemon of some items that I ordered. So I'm very excited about that. However, I'm not gonna open that in this video. I'm gonna do another just like separate haul sit down video of these items. So make sure to check that out. I'm not sure if this will be up before then. Just keep a lookout for that. The next three like boxes are items that I got from Amazon. So I'm very excited about that. So let's open these up. The first item that I have to show you guys are some items that I'm stocking up for my dogs when I wash them. So I'm gonna be doing baths every week, but alternating which dog I'm doing. So they'll be bathed every other week. But the first thing that I got was the rising spray. It's called De-Stress with lavender and chamomile. So it'll smell really nice and sometimes grooming can be stressful for dogs. So hopefully this will alleviate that stress. So that next item is dog shampoo. So well, it's pet shampoo. It's by the brand Way, and I've heard really good things about this. So I'm hoping this works out well. I will have those last two items that I just showed you guys linked in my dog's Amazon storefront. So if you're interested in those, check that out. So the last item that I have to show you guys from Amazon that came in pack of three is also related to dog grooming. So this is just some items that I can use to help like massage and shampoo and things like that. With this specifically, this allows you to put shampoo in here 
and then massage that into their fur. So I was really excited about this item specifically just because I have one dog that's a little squirmy, so I only have two hands. So trying to keep him in place, but also using the shower head on him and then trying to shampoo him, but also then moving my hands and then he tries to wanna walk out of the dog bath. So this will help with that just to have the shampoo on hand and then scrubbing that in and then putting in that handle and it should help keep my dogs in place and just make the grooming and bathing process a lot easier for me. Once again, linked on my Amazon storefront. Okay, now that I'm finished up with that, I have a minute and 20 seconds until I'm going to grab those cookies. So I'm gonna get one of those heating pads out for that and set that out. But I'm thinking once I set those out, I'm gonna take the dogs out and I'm gonna take all these boxes downstairs to my big recycling bin down there. So they don't look quite done right now. So I'm gonna give it maybe another five minutes and then I will take those out. Okay, so this is what the cookies look like. Don't worry, they are on like a little heating pad and they're not up against the wall. I know it kind of looks like it. So they said once you take them out, they'll continue obviously to keep cooking a little bit. They're out of the oven. So, so far I think they look pretty good. I'm gonna take the dogs out now. And so probably once we get back inside, then I can probably taste test one of these. Okay, you guys, so I tried one of the cookies. It was really good, you guys. So now I am storing the rest of them in here. So the pan, which I'm getting ready to clean, and this is from Caraway, so that is a non-toxic brand. So if you're looking for like non-stick pans that don't have that toxic like Teflon type material that is known to have some carcinogens in it and whatnot, if you're looking for a non-toxic brand, Caraway is the way to go. I'll have that linked down below as well if that's something that you are interested in. Yeah, I'm really glad that I got this when I lost all of my cookware and I switched over to non-toxic. Okay guys, it's a little while later, so I've gotten Murphy's photos done for his gotcha day today, which was really special. Because I've had him for two years now. Molly's over here as well. So I'm gonna get them their dinner, and then I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna have for dinner, and watch a little bit of This Is Us. So if you haven't watched my previous vlogs, I've started watching This Is Us. I didn't watch it when it was on TV, and now I'm getting ready to start season three. I will catch up with you guys a little later. Okay, you guys, it is a few hours later. I got lots of work done today and also filmed another sit down video that I think I'll have up before this one. I'm not 100% sure yet, but stay tuned for that. And now I'm heading over to dinner at Doc Ford's. There's probably still a lot of people there because today the Chiefs won, so they're heading to the Super Bowl. So we'll see what the rest of the evening has in store. All right, you guys, it is a little bit later now. So I went to Doc Ford's and had some soup, which was good. And then now we are home for the evening, watched a little bit of the 49ers Lions game. They see the cookies up there. They think they're getting some, obviously they're not. I'm getting ready to wind down for the evening. I have a busy Monday tomorrow, which of course I will take you along for. So I will see you tomorrow morning. morning you guys it is now monday as you can probably tell i am now heading off island because i have a hair appointment this morning but first we're going to stop at starbucks so i will take you along for that okay guys just got done getting my hair done so it probably doesn't look any different just did like a little dusting just cleaning up some layers it's just because i'm trying to grow out my hair a little bit more maybe another inch or two so now I'm on the causeway heading back to the island, gonna have some lunch and then get to work. Also this morning before I left, the landscapers that are fixing my landscaping are there and they're putting in some trees today. So it's gonna start looking a whole lot better. So I'm excited about that. I'll check in with you guys soon. All right, you guys. So it's a little while later, as you saw, had lunch took the dogs out and then I had a window person come by because I didn't have all of the blinds ordered. So that's gonna get taken care of. I'll check in with you guys a little later. I've been doing some computer work, making some good headway and I'll let you know how the rest of the day goes. Okay guys, so I wanna show you my new Stanley Cup that came in the mail today. I know not everybody's a big fan of them right now. I still love them, so I got it in white. I'm a neutral girl in the sense of I love whites, grays, and blacks. I do have a beige one, but I'm really not one of those beige people. Like, I just prefer whites, blacks, and grays. I'm excited about this. Goes with everything. Great to have a nice white cup. And then I also have a gray one coming soon. 
So I will do like a Stanley Cup collection in the future if that's something you guys are interested in. Okay you guys, it's a little while later, getting some more work done. I uploaded a lemon video. Today I have a few more videos that are also ready to go, which is nice to feel like I'm ahead on my videos. And then I also got plenty of work done as well, which always feels great. And then in addition, since I have moved recently, just getting address updates and then in the state of Florida, when you have a permanent address here, you apply for what's called a homestead. So done that. All my address stuff with the state is taken care of. So we're getting things taken care of for the house. So I'm excited about that. All right, you guys, it's a little bit later. Got a lot accomplished today and now it's dinner time. So as you can see, this is a different background, but it should still look familiar if you're an OG subscriber. I'm at my mom's house and we're having chili tonight. So with this white shirt, let's see how that ends up. I'll keep you guys updated. Another day, another Amazon package. So let's open this up. So it's nothing crazy. It's just a mount for my phone in my car. So that is the end of today's portion of the vlog. I had a good day, had a good dinner. The dog's out and now we're getting ready to wind down for the evening. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. It's a little bit later than I usually check in with you guys. The dogs are all taken care of. They've had breakfast. They're good to go for this morning. I've made a lot of phone calls, getting some things checked off my list. And of course I've been doing some work as well, but I'm gonna have kind of a late breakfast for me. So I think I'm gonna make toast and peanut butter with a banana. I used to eat that all the time when I was in high school, although that was a long time ago. So I'm thinking about doing that. Got a busy day ahead and then I'm hoping to get some cleaning done as well and some decluttering of some spaces. So I will check in with you guys a little later. while later if you hear some noise in the background it's probably my laundry machine so on Tuesdays if you are new here I call it like my dog day so that's when I do a lot of laundry related to my dogs such as their crate covers their blankets toys leashes harnesses collars wash all of those so that those are nice and clean and they don't smell bad got done with a few phone calls okay you guys it's been a cleaning day over here I wanted to show you my couches since my dogs do sit on the couch it's important for me to clean them. Murphy's not happy he's outside right now as we're finishing cleaning but I wanted to show you guys what the couches look like. I have their leather cleaner and the conditioner that I use to keep it looking brand new and not dull. I do this every once in a while and then I also have leather cleaning wipes but those are all linked on our Amazon storefront so if that's something that you're interested in you want to keep your leather couches looking fresh make sure you check that out. for dinner and I will take you along for that. Hello you guys and good morning. Apologize on my appearance. I'll be taking care of that later when I'm getting ready to head off island. We had a little bit slower of a start this morning but the dogs are taken care of. I'm gonna make some breakfast, get some laundry done, and of course, get some work done. So I will check in with you guys a little later. Hello you guys, it's been a while since I last talked with you guys. I'm now off island. I typically leave around two on Wednesdays for my class that I have at 5.30. Um, there's a car honking. Anyways, so I got ready obviously. I did a few loads of laundry before I left, got some work done. And so it's almost three o'clock now. So it took me about 45 minutes to get to this spot, which it usually doesn't take that long. It just depends on traffic. Traffic 
getting off the island wasn't terrible yet for that time of day, but I did run into quite a bit of traffic once I got off island. So now I'm at Target. I'm gonna run a few other errands as well that I'll take you along for, then get our late lunch, early dinner before heading to my class. So I'll check in with you guys a little later. All right, you guys, so I am now heading out from Target, picked up the things I needed, plus a few other things. When does that not happen at Target? But I will show you those items when I get home tonight. But next, we're gonna run on over to Ulta. I have a few items that I'm running out of that I would like to restock. So I will take you along for that. All right, you guys, so I am done in Ulta. I did a little bit of damage, quite a bit of damage, actually. I used to be like a huge makeup person, loved makeup. I don't really wear it as much anymore. And I wouldn't say I'm like as obsessive, like I wanted every new product and every new palette. Like I loved the OG like makeup on YouTube community. So I definitely got some products that are definitely a blast from the past. And then they did tell me they think it's possible that my foundation that I've been using forever is gonna be discontinued. So that made me a little sad. So I ordered what I could online that they still have. They didn't have any in store. I will do a separate haul of my Ulta purchases because it was definitely more than I've spent in a while because like I said, I don't really wear makeup as often anymore. Just like a few times a week type thing. I used to wear it like every day, full glam. Yeah, definitely a blast from the past in there, but that was really fun. So I'll show you guys those items in another haul, like I said. It's fun being a girl. It's fun doing all the makeup things. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me, but I definitely haven't purchased that much makeup in a while. But at the same time, I lost the majority of my makeup in Hurricane Ian. There are a few things that I haven't had, but I've made do since then in the past, I guess it's been 16 months now. So the last time I did like a massive purchase from Ulta was when I lost everything. So I had to get like the basics, but now I got some more fun items and items that I used to have, but I just hadn't repurchased yet. Anyways, enough of that. Now I'm gonna head over and get like a late lunch early dinner at Cooper's Hawk So I will take you along for that. Okay, you guys I am now in the parking lot for Cooper's Hawk So I have about an hour until I have a meeting It's a zoom meeting at 5 and then my class starts at 5 30 So I'm gonna eat pretty quickly then head to where I'm supposed to head for my in-person meeting And probably just sit in the parking lot and do the zoom. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit Okay, you guys, so I got done with my dinner. Sorry I didn't take you inside. It was pretty packed in there, so I didn't wanna like bother anyone by getting my camera out or anything. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna head over to where I'm having my meeting tonight in person. It starts at 5.30. It's 4.30 now, so I'm definitely giving myself a decent amount of time, but I thought I'll just like sit in my car and go over flashcards that I have. So I've been making flashcards for this class because there's just a lot of terminology that you need to know. There was a lot of terms this week. I think there was like 90 terms. Well, I just want to review those because I will be doing like a little quiz at the end. So just kind of refresh my memory, get in the mindset for that. And then I have that Zoom at five. And then of course that meeting at 5.30. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, you guys. So I'm at where my meeting at 5.30 is going to be. Like I said, I'm here like 45 minutes early. I just wanted to be here so that when I get off that, call for my zoom call that i'll be able to get right in there and also i'm glad i left the island when i did just because i guess just minutes after i had gotten off the island i guess traffic got really bad and was a standstill so i'm glad that i left when i did otherwise i don't think i would have made it tonight if i would have left even like 15 minutes after so that's pretty crazy but yeah the traffic situation on the island is very unpredictable right now you just don't know what you're gonna get day to day and there's just such an influx on the island i mean I mean, you're starting to get snowbirds but not a lot because of the hurricane and just not all the places being back open but there's just so much construction because every structure on the island did receive damage because of the flooding our entire island was underwater if you didn't know that there's just been a lot going on and a lot of people there and we're all kind of over it traffic's pretty rough and i will say i've had some interesting encounters with the construction people some have been really great others we're just kind of ready for them to be off the island sometimes they're just mean i've been like flipped off so many times like driving and i'm like i'm at a stop sign and i'm not driving right now like why are you flipping me off type thing like that even happened today when i was leaving so that was confusing but yeah so it's just an interesting time we're all just trying to recover but you know emotions are still really high i'm grateful for today i'm grateful i got off when i did grateful i was able to run the errands that i was able to get grateful to be in a position that you know i was able to buy my groceries and not have to worry about afford my groceries things like that so just a lot to be grateful for grateful that 
I got here on time, that I have some flexibility, have a little bit time to study. So yeah, always trying to look at the positive and reframe when sometimes things can be really chaotic. So hopefully that's a nice little tip for you today. If you're having a bad day or a bad moment, just know you can always turn things around. All right, you guys, as promised, I would update you on the things that I got while I was off island today. So I'm back home after a long evening, very productive, great class tonight, really good talk with discussion. But now let's get into the things that I got. So first, did get things from Alta, but like I said earlier, I will be doing a separate haul on this. So I'm excited about that. Next, we'll cover Amazon. So this came while I was away, so let's open this up. So the dogs are up and excited, even though they are not supposed to counter surf, but these are their native yak chews. So these are great if you're looking for like a durable chew stick and also doesn't have like a strong scent. This is really good to have. So ordered these. I get the large ones because of size of my dogs. Want something that is long lasting. And then you wanna make sure when it gets closer to like a stubby size that they don't swallow it whole. But there's some recipes of what to do when they get to that stubby size. But anyways, this is linked on their Amazon storefront. So if that's something that you're interested in, go check that out. Next, I have my Target items. So got all the things on my list in there, but I also picked up a few other things. So first, got some new Q-tips, needed those. Those. Then I got wipes. These were not on my list, but I'm gonna put these in my car. I think those are just essential to have anytime you might have a mess. Then I have two different tied to go sticks. I was needing these, but I got two instead of one, one to keep in my car and then one to have in my house. Then also needed to get some new makeup sponges. I get these at Target. Another item that I needed was this Bissell cleaner. So I use a Bissell at my house, need more of this. Great for like the mopping of my floors type situation. It's feeling really clean, but I always get like the pet related one because I do have pets and I find that it works really well. Last item that I have from Target, I did not have it on my list, but I saw it and I loved it. Little black vase. My house is themed a lot of black, whites, and grays. I thought this would go really well on my floating shelves. I will get that all designed and then maybe tomorrow, cause I'm heading off island at some point, I may get some like decor pieces like flowers, vines, whatever to put in this and a few other things on that floating wall. So stay tuned for that. That is it for my Wednesday portion of this vlog. I'm gonna get ready for bed, put all these items away because I have an early start tomorrow. I'm gonna get right into bed and I will see you tomorrow morning. Hello you guys and happy Thursday. We were hoping we could have slept in today, but unfortunately, but fortunately at the same time, we have a delivery this morning. So it's 8.15, so within the next hour or so, furniture company will be here to drop off my last piece of furniture in my office. So I'll really enjoy showing that to you guys, but that will be in my moving vlog episode four. The dogs are now taken care of this morning. And so I have a decent amount of work to get done. So I'm gonna start getting making some headway on that. And then hopefully after my furniture delivery is done, I need to head down to Estero. I have a few errands to run there. Estero is just another area of Southwest Florida near like Bonita Springs in Naples. So I will be heading down there. So of course I'll take you along for that. I was hoping to film some sit down videos today, but with everything else I have to do, I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I might be filming some other sit down videos for you guys tomorrow. So we'll see how the day pans out and I will keep you updated. So it's a little while later, you guys. So the furniture was dropped off. It looks really great. If you wanna see that in more detail, check out that moving vlog number four. I'm not sure which video is gonna be out first. So you'll be able to see it there. Of course, while that was happening, Murphy, my dog, wanted to bolt out the door. He has a little bit of a bad habit trying to do that. He knows stay, he knows all of that, but sometimes his impulse control isn't always the best. So we're working on that. Now I am down in Coconut Point, which is in Estero, Florida. So that's, depending on traffic, can be like 30 to 45 minutes. I ended up going in person to do an address change. I've done it in the past over the phone, but then it didn't go through. Found for this specific address change, so I've done it before to go in person and gets taken care of. So that's now done. It's a little after 10 now. Gonna 
look around at the few of the stores here. I'm gonna see if there's like a Michaels or something similar to that or Home Goods here and try to find something to put in those vases that I've bought recently, such as the one yesterday. I'll let you know how that goes. And then after that, I'm thinking about picking up Chipotle for lunch. And then I have a few more errands and things to drop off at some offices here in Estero before heading back to Sanibel. Check in with you guys as we go. Okay, you guys, so I went into Michael's and was pretty successful in there. So I will do in the moving vlog kind of like how I style those pieces that I got into the different vases that I have. But you know how that goes. And so now it's 1045. So I think I'm going to place my mobile order for Chipotle. It's just open and everything. It'll just be ready to go. And I can eat that quickly before heading over and doing some more errands in a different area of Estero. I'll check in with you guys soon. All right, you guys, so it's a little while later. I've run all my errands. I'm now getting gas before heading back to the island. It's saying it's gonna take me an hour to get back from where I was, which is kind of surprising, but I guess because of traffic, so we'll see how that goes. Get back to the island, get some more work done, and take you along for the rest of my day. All right, you guys, so I am home right now. I'm kind of messing with the things that I got from Michael's. You can see that on my moving vlog. I'm not sure how I feel about the decor and how it's looking in the space. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated, but I did get an Amazon package while I was gone. So of course I wanted to show you what I got. So I reordered this eye smile kit. So I used this for whitening my teeth and it works really well. So it's time to whiten them again. So we're gonna be using this. Hey guys, she spent them with dinner a little while ago. It's 8.30 and I am exhausted. So I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hello you guys and happy Friday. It has been a really busy day. It's actually noon. Got up and off to the races. So the last week of a month, so it's February 2nd when I'm filming this, that's when I send out all of my invoices for the month for my clients and then their analytics reports. If you don't know, I own a marketing and communications company. So getting those all sent out today. So that's been really busy. I'm about to head out and take some pictures for a client. So hopefully they can get that approved today. It's been really busy. I've also been taken care of. And then I'm gonna go take those pictures, come back, have some lunch, and I'll check in with you guys a little later. So sorry, it's been a little scattered this morning, but we're making do. Okay, you guys, so now we're heading off island. Sorry, I haven't talked a whole lot today. I've just been really busy with work, but now we're heading off island to do some fun things this evening. So I'll take you along for that. Okay, you guys, so we just went to Bell Tower. One of my friends there just opened up a storefront there, so that was exciting. She had like a little ribbon cutting. So now we're leaving Bell Tower, so I'll let you know where the rest of the day takes us. Hello, you guys, so it's a little while later. So I went to Rooms to Go and bought some new like Chase lounger type chairs for my outside by the pool. And then I've been looking at a few other stores. I went to Home Goods, bought things that I'm come in for, but I'll show you guys later. We're heading to Cooper's Hawk and going to a wine tasting potentially there. I mean, it's a Friday, so it might be really busy, but we'll see. You guys, and happy Saturday. So right now we are heading down to downtown Fort Myers to Art Fest. So this happens once a year and it's pretty big. So I'll take you along for that. And I do have a piece that I put down a deposit for that I'll be picking up. So of course I'll take you along for that. Hey you guys, so we are now down at Art Fest in downtown Fort Myers. So we're gonna go somewhere in Fort Myers to get some lunch and then probably head over to Trader Joe's to get some groceries, but had a really good time. And I'll show you my piece that I got. It's from Ellen Negley, she does watercolors and I have a few of her other ones. So I'll show you guys those a little bit later. You guys, it's been a while since I checked in with you guys today, but now we are on Captiva Island and having dinner at Sunshine Cafe. So it opened within the last month or so, I would say. So this will be the second time that I've been here since it's reopened since Hurricane Ian. So I'll take you along and show you what I get. 
Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna end off this vlog here while I was gone and having dinner. I had hung that painting that I got today and unfortunately it fell. The painting's fine, but I have a few things wall-wise, outlet-wise that needs to be fixed. I think that probably scared the dog more than anything else. But anyways, I'll let you know how that goes in my moving vlog number four and how that gets fixed. But I'm gonna end off this video here. Please make sure you like this video, comment down below what was your favorite thing to do this week and make sure you subscribe so don't miss out on any of my content. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.